Today marks a remarkable moment in the history of GWI. It's a historical day where for the first time ever in the history of the company, the Water Quality Laboratory is being certified um, both by national standards and international um, requirements. That was Dion Anderson, head of the water quality at GWI. He explained that the company over the one-year period was required to meet basic requirements of the World Health Organization, WHO, before achieving the necessary certification. A few of these requirements were ensuring the test methods were fully developed and implemented, along with consistent accuracy testing of the equipment used to ensure proper water quality. Some of the things that the certification says to us, because I know many might ask, what does the certification say about us here at the Water Quality Department, the GWN, about the information that we provide to you, our customers and our citizens. The certification validates the competence of our staff in the Water Quality Department. It validates also the appropriate, appropriateness of our test methods and protocols that are used to test the different water quality parameters. It ensures traceability of our measurements that, that are done in terms of our standing, standard operating procedures, in terms of the standards used to monitor the accuracy of the equipment. Laboratory consultant Karam Chan Ramotar said he expects to continue working with the company even as it seeks international certification. Representative from GNBS Rodlin Semple lauded the water company for being the 14th laboratory to achieve the GYS 170 standard. This standard is the national standard which specifies the operation of a laboratory, she said, which also assures that reliable testing meets the needs of consumers. Managing Director of GWI, Richard Van West Charles, said he is proud of the accomplishment as he noted the company will continue to strive to provide water of safe quality to its users. For the GWI to maintain its certification, it will be re-evaluated over a two-year period by trained assessors. Davina Ramdas for the Evening News.